Good afternoon, everybody. I picked this up today uh, for not very much money, and I'm curious about a number of things about this. Uh, so what this is, is this is a step-up transformer or a step-down transformer. Um, you can feed in 110 or presumably 220 volts. And uh, then the other side of the transformer should give you 110 or 220 volt taps. So already, I mean, you can think of some ideas where this, you could use it to drop the voltage as well, right? Right, just hitting it for 220 volts on this side. But um, I'm more interested in what degree of isolation there is between the two sides of the transformer and then to see if I can figure out how it's wired. So let's start with that first part and check out the degree of isolation. So let's turn it on. I have, in fact, plugged this in, felt that go bzzz as the, the transformer is energized. And uh, so we'll put this in continuity. So my suspicion is, well, first, that the ground is going to be wired across here. So touching the ground over here Okay, so touching the ground here. So that's the ground, the ground here. That's the ground. Okay. So the second question is the hot, which should be this one. Is this wired through? No. Oh, we'll try both sides just in case. All right, let's try. So, the answer is there's no isolation, it's an auto transformer. And it's the, assuming I got this right. It, uh, okay, I can find out which one's switched. Yeah, so it's switching. Oh, of course it's gonna go on both sides. going to be on both sides because it's not a transformer and it's right. It's DC. Okay, so what do we know? We know from this first is that the um, the grounds are connected, so there's no isolation on the ground. That would be expected. But we also know that uh, this is an auto transformer, so that means that there aren't separate uh, There aren't separate isolated windings for, you know, the output side and the input side, but they're in fact collected together. I think that's what we can see, but we can tell in a moment by pulling out, looks like eight screws along the side. So let's get a screwdriver. Let's get the right screwdriver. This one maybe. Nope, one down. Let's get that screwdriver. Let's take these off. And see what we've got. I should say this thing weighs about five pounds. So there's a substantial amount of iron in it, which you can see through the through the side vents here. This is still potentially an interesting toy because I'll try in a minute to see if I'm correct, but my suspicion is is that you could set it for 220 volts on the input and uh, use the 110 volts should then give you roughly half the voltage, so 55 volts or 60 volts. We'll try that in a minute just to see if I'm correct about that. But First, let's have a look. It appears to be uh, switching, not the hot, but the, the cold. Yeah, so you can see there's only a single set of windings around here, and we've got, let's see.
So the power comes in. It's going to be a bit hard to see without um, clipping all the wires, which I'm loath to do. So the cord comes in. We've got ground and hot and cold. One goes into the chest, both. One goes through this, so the, the blue here goes through the switch and comes out to one side here. There's the ground. Let me, uh, let me have a look at this and then I'll come back. I think I followed the wiring, but let's do this the easy way. Let's put the ohmmeter over here. Uh, let's move this light around so it's not quite as obnoxious. All right, so let's go across the transformer. Okay, let's shut off the All right, so we'll shut off the beeper so that we don't have to listen to that. And we get somewhere around 15 ohms. So this is with the switch on. If I turn the switch off, we get no, because the circuit's closed. Okay. I think that switch is a bit funny. Okay, let's try this again. About three ohms, okay. And to this side we get five ohms, and to this side we should get nothing, right? So that's, oh, on. Okay, about three ohms. Uh, don't have good contact here. So about five ohms. Okay, so on the This side of the uh, 110 volt, so that's got to be the hot side. Then the other side, we get 2.6 ohms. And that makes sense if we think that the, uh, that the hot ought to have half as many turns, I'm sorry, the 110 volts should have half as many turns as the 220. And within the resolution we're getting here, I think that's about right, right? 2.5, 2.7, and five. So, but the other side, right, is connected directly through to the hot side of this. So what we have is we have an auto transformer um, set up. Now what happens when you switch it to, to 20 volts? What we should see is we should see, we should see five,
Yeah, so about five across there. Nothing. 2.5. So this hasn't changed. This still hasn't changed at this end, but has it changed at this end? Five. Three. Yep. So at 220, we're running through twice as many windings, right? Five, and then we switch it to 110. Half of that, two and a half. And then, yeah, it's, uh, so if we go to 220, then we should see approximately five. So it should be about the same for the 220 volt. And for this one, it should be about half, and it is. So that makes sense. And if we look at the windings from this side, we should see the same thing. Five, again, for the uh, 220 volt. And oops, I don't have these in well. There we go. 2.7. So again, right, this number here is just a proxy for how many of the turns in this auto transformer each individual output's running through. So again, when we put this one back, we should see two and a half, right? And we should see on this one about the same, two and a half, and then we should see about five for this, right? So if we were to draw this out, you want me to steal a piece of paper out of something? I'll we'll use this. Okay, so if we are to draw this out, what would it look like? Let me use, what have we got here? A pencil. Um, so we've got one, tap there, one tap there, and one tap there. And the 220 volts is across those, and the 110 volts is across those. And for where the plug is on this end, so AC in at this end, so this is coming in here, it goes to this, right? And then you've got a switch here, which is gonna to go to there or here. Here is if your um, power in is 220 it's then going to connect up here. And here is then if it's 110, it's going to connect up there, right? So this is the, the and this is essentially just how an auto transformer works. So if you switch it to 110, this and this outlet are the same. If you switch it for 220, that and that outlet are the same. But what happens if you do something like put this switch in the wrong position, put it in the 220 volt position, then what's this tap going to be? Well, let's find out. Okay, so we're gonna plug this in. The power on the back is set to 110 volts. It's turned on here, lights on, and here's our meter. Oh. Move this light over here again. There we go, and that's set for AC volts. So we would hope that 110 volts would show, yeah, 119. That's what we get when it's not loaded around here. And we should get, oops, 237. Okay, 
So it's working as advertised, just fine. Now I should note, well, I'll show you something else here. Well, the first thing is what happens when we go between hot and ground. Right, so it's doing okay. We turn it on and we look right. So it's 237 volts on the 240 volt side to ground and 119.3 volts on the 110 volt side. So this is not an isolation transformer. It will not save your butt if you're working on a uh, on any sort of electronics. So <laughs> right, this is not helpful in that way. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to see what happens if you push this to 240 volts. 240 volts should, if we look at my diagram here, right, so on the outside of the transformer here, we should have 110 volts now, which means that my guess, or 120 volts, that's going to be about 60 volts on the AC line. So we'll turn the power back on and we'll see if I'm correct. In which case, I think we understand this. And there we go, 59.6 volts. And the 220 volts should be 110. And it is. So there we go. It's, it's configured exactly as I thought it was. Thanks for watching. These are pretty interesting. Um, not that useful unless you have a 220 volt device that you wish to use. But if you do, that's perfectly fine. Thanks for watching.